channel. Um, so if you guys have been watching me, you know that I use KS Resin and um, their company is growing and expanding and they now have um, these pigment pastes. And I'm gonna try these out today. This is Fool's Gold. And it's really just beautiful. This is fuchsia. Look at that. It's so thick and just gorgeous. Let me get a stick. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I don't want to even waste any of this. So that's the fuchsia. And then this is the blue lotus. Okay, so I'm gonna test them out. I'm gonna do two molds. Yes, that's a marijuana leaf. These are molds from the, re the Resin Queen and that's a little moon face. And I'm going to do two coasters. And today I'm using their Liquid Art UV, the Ultra UV resin. And the links to everything will be in my description box as always. And I'm just gonna mix up two ounces so that I have enough for the coasters and the molds. And if you're familiar with mixing, you can fast forward through this part. And if you're not familiar with mixing and you wanna go ahead and watch. And these are just little one ounce cups and that's part A and part B. And I'm just going to get all that goodness in there. And I probably should have used a bigger cup. To mix this in. But I think this will be just fine. And I'm just mixing very slowly so we don't get a lot of bubbles and scraping the sides. And I'm going to mix for like four minutes. And in their directions, I believe it says to mix for two minutes in one cup and then mix for two minutes in another cup. I'm terrible at following directions.
Yeah, so it's saying to, um, in a clean container, mix the measured resin and hardener with a paint mixing stick. Mix vigorously for two minutes. Scrape the sides and bottoms with a paint stick and continue to mix for an additional two minutes. So four minutes, I don't have to change the cup. And I'm just timing myself and I'm just mixing slowly. Not a lot of bubbles, doing pretty good. And I have about two minutes left, I believe. So you can fast forward through this if you would like. Usually this resin is a little thicker um, but the AC wasn't working in my house today. I had to have someone come out and repair it. So it's a little thinner than usual. So you just scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. And I got about one minute left. As you can see, there's not tons of bubbles. Just mixing slow, scraping the sides. And again, this is just for you newbies out there that haven't mixed resin yet and you're happening to watch my video. If you're already a resin mixing pro, then you can skip right through this. Um, I think I've mentioned in my last video that I have a Facebook group called Resin Fanatics. If you guys want to check that out. Um, I'm going to start doing lives in there. I'm going to do my first one with these pigments. And eventually I want to get enough people to maybe do a art swap. That would be really cool. I mentioned that in my last video. I still just don't have enough people yet. So you guys get over there and like that page. All right, so it's done mixing. And the first thing I want to try is some molds. And then um, at the end of the video, tomorrow when they're cured, I'll come back and show you how they look. And I wanna do this moon face in like, in this gold. So I only really need a little bit. It doesn't take uh, much to fill it. If I use too much, I can grab another mold. I have some seashells. What the heck, let's do a seashell too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. All right, I'm gonna break a stick in half. And I'm just gonna get, it says you just need a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can just play with it. Oh my goodness. That's probably way too much. Okay, so just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna color this resin up. And as with any pigments or paste, you can make it as transparent as, or as, I'm sorry, as transparent or as opaque as you want it. It's pretty transparent now. I'm gonna add a little more and I'm not gonna use the same stick that I dipped into the resin. So I'm using, an, I'm wasting sticks. It's so pretty guys. Okay. 
Okay. So that's beautiful. All right. So I'm going to first do my little moon guy. All right. And then I'm going to move him to the side and we'll come back and check him after about 12 hours and my seashell. Okay, I get these molds from the Resin Queen. You can find her. She has an Etsy shop. She has an Instagram. Um, I'll put the link to her Etsy shop in the description box. And then with this fun guy, I'm going to see how these colors mix. So yellow and blue make green. So gold and blue will make a greenish shiny color, hopefully. Oh, no. Waste. So a little bit was on the top, but I'm going to add a little bit more resin to this. And I'm going to get this beautiful blue color. in there I added a little bit too much blue I want it to be on the greener side that blue is really strong so a little more yellow kind of like winding it up like cotton candy. It's a little more on the greenish side, but it's more of a turquoise, I would say, like a dark turquoise. But that's gonna work. And I'm just gonna pour it into my mold. So I have a lot of customers that request marijuana leaf ashtrays and keychains. So that's the story behind this guy. So I'm gonna set him aside. And then I'm going to play with some coasters. So just so you can see what's going on. It mixed really nice with the resin. They're beautiful, vibrant colors. And I'm having fun. All right, so the first coaster, I'm just gonna do the three colors together. The fuchsia, the blue, and the gold. And I'm kinda gonna do a puddle pour. And with the second coaster, we'll do that one in a second. I'm gonna add some Pearl X, um, interference violet just to add a different brand of something and see how it reacts with different brands so I'm just gonna get three cups should be enough and gonna get my fuchsia
Man, that's my favorite one, I think. It has like a sheen to it. It's so beautiful. Can you see that? So the fuchsia. The blue lotus. You know, I bet this will work better if I use popsicle sticks instead of sticks. Much better. Much better, guys. Look at that. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. And then I'm going to get some gold. Fool's gold, it's called. My gosh, so much easier. I don't know why I was using those little sticks. Look at that. Holy moly, that is gorgeous. Okay. So now I'm just gonna do a fun puddle pour and then I'm gonna hit it with my torch. Um, when I do coasters, I don't use my heat gun a lot. I feel like it blows way too much and I can get cells to pop up with just my torch. And um, I'm gonna do some blue first. So these popsicle sticks are too big and they're heavy and they knock my cups down. So I have to like lean it against something. Some gold. Fuchsia. Some more gold. Back to blue. And I'm not really doing this in any particular order. I'm just playing around here. My gosh, I need smaller sticks, man. You're driving me nuts. And then I'm just going to pour the rest around the edges. So we can get something, a different pattern going on. This is gonna be so pretty. Woo! All right, now I'm gonna get my mask on and I'm gonna torch this up and see what we what we get. I'm gonna stop for a minute. The first thing I'm noticing, guys, is major cells. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera down and make you dizzy a little bit. 
but this is so pretty. There's a lot of fuchsia right in the center. That's the strongest color. But look at those amazing cells. So this is just the three pigment colors together with no other brand included. And it's already just has tons of cells. So I'm going to move it around a little bit. I need to get a better camera set up. Just because there's so much. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. gosh I don't know what they put this put in this stuff but it's amazing see that and and it's just like a mirror glass so I'm going to get my gloved fingers and just do the sides And my camera is all off balance here. There we go. Torch it a little more. Once you move it around, if you want to torch it to bring stuff up from the bottom, the different colors. And I think I'm just going to leave it like this. It's so pretty. Look at those cells. Look at the blue popping through. So the fuchsia is really um, strong. I want to keep messing with it. I took my gloves off. I love how it changes every time. All right, I'm seriously gonna stop messing with it. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to do the other coaster. I'm going to move this one out the way, but I'm going to add a, a different element, sorry guys, into it. I'm going to add some interference violet and I'm just going to use um, the fuchsia and the blue. I don't know how I'm going to move this thing over. There we go. Popsicle stick, cup, got it. All right, so we'll just move that right out of the frame. And yes, I'm using way too much resin. I'm wasting, but I'm having fun and playing. So this time I'm just gonna use the fuchsia and the blue. And then I'm going to use some interference violet. Let's see what we can get out of this. So I'm gonna use the same cups that I already had for those. Let me move this so you can see. I think you can see. Can you see this big old mess I got going on? So since the violet, I'm sorry, the fuchsia 
is so super strong. I'm going to try to cut back on that one a little bit. Looking for my gloves. They're like right here. So this is like a totally unplanned video. I'm just testing these out and that's why everything's so crazy and all over the place. Even though I'm probably always crazy and all over the place. So this is the Interference Violet. And if you don't know what an interference color is, that's what it looks like when you put it over a dark surface. Or mix it with darker colors, that violet will really pop. Okay, so this is the Interference Violet. And I'm just mixing a little more fuchsia into the same cup that I had before. I added more resin. And then I'm going to add a little more blue. into that blue and I added a little more resin. Okay, so fuchsia and blue will make a purplish color. And then I'm gonna add that interference violet into there and see what we come up with. This time since the fuchsia is so strong and vibrant, gorgeous. I'm going to keep it towards the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing like a little puddle pour. And I don't know what, how long it's been, but I'm still working with the same resin. I've worked with this resin up to an hour before. It's great very long working time. So I'm just in no particular order at all. Just doing a puddle pour and you'll notice if your tile is off that it will start running to one side if you're not level. I also forgot to mention that I taped the back of these coasters, coasters right on the edges, which I do with all of my coasters. That way, if there's any drips, I can get them off very easy. Um, when I sell my coasters, whoops, downtown at my nightly sunset celebration here in Key West, people are always asking me for a single coaster, so I'll just sell these singly. I sell a set of four coasters for $30, but if they're single like this, I'll probably sell them for $10 each. I'm so super messy. All right, so before I um, torch it, it kind of looks like a bullseye, right? I'm going to just let it spread a little bit. 
overlap each other, not getting all the way to the edges. Trying to keep it in the frame. All right, I think that's good. All right, so now I'm gonna put my mask on and torch it up. And let's see what we get. So this is the blue, the fuchsia, and some interference violet. Sorry. This is freaking gorgeous, guys. That's a little bit right here of interference violet. A little too much right there. This stuff creates amazing cells. I'm very impressed with it. I'm definitely going to go back and get the rest of the colors. So, that's... I said it already. Fuchsia. Um, blue lotus and then some of the interference violet and just look at those amazing cells it's really pretty and then this is the other one and that was fuchsia blue lotus and the fool's gold and you know their primary colors almost primary colors. Primary colors are red and yellow, but you know, they're similar. So you get all those different colors out of there. You, The red and the gold made some orange. You know, it, it's just, it's beautiful. There's different colors, gorgeous cells. And I like it a lot. I'm really impressed with it. Um, also, I have these molds that I'm going to unmold and show you at the end of the video and see what the pigments look like in the molds. And um, another thing that they have going on right now is a Friday sample thing. Let me look it up real quick. Sorry guys, I'm so unorganized. Um, today was the first day that they did it and they sold out like immediately. Where is it? I'm on their website. Here it is. So it's on the main page. And you just scroll down to the bottom and it says free sample Friday. Are you interested in trying one of our products before you buy? Check out our free sample Friday limited quantities available. So you need to go to their website on Friday early in the morning and get some free samples. You can sample the liquid art sample we have here so far. That's what they're doing now, just the the resin. But you need to try this stuff, it's amazing. Um, they just have a little saying, a sign up right now that says we're sold out, but you can use coupon code FRIDAY to get 10% off 16 ounce kits. And see you next week for more free samples. So you guys need to get on their website and check this out. And um, thank you for watching my crazy video. Look how gorgeous that is. And um, I hope you liked it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Check out my Facebook group, Resin Fanatics. And we're going to do some fun stuff in that group. I have some 
fun thing fun things planned and i will see you guys next time thank you bye bye hey guys so it's the next morning and i just wanted to show you that these dried nicely this is one i did on my facebook live last night in my um resin fanatics group this is the one i did with you guys beautiful and then there's this one that one I used clear tape this one I like to use painters tape I want to just show you how easy the tape comes off and you see those drips they just come right off. So definitely painter's tape is the way to go. All right, and also, let's see how the molds did. This is the little seashell, and this is the fool's gold. Very pretty. My little leaf, so pretty. It has that little shimmer from the gold that I mixed with the blue. And then this was after I did my Facebook Live, I just threw some little extras I had left over into the mermaid too. I should have mixed the colors better, but it's cute. All right, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.